happening. I accidentally left the call. What? I accidentally left the call instead of turning off my video. <laughs> it's cool though, I also kept talking to you. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't hear any of it. Yeah. Um, well, hello everyone. Uh, I am supposed to be getting on Twitch and I was looking at Twitter instead, I'm sorry. Probably the first time that someone has been derailed from their intended course by Twitter. How does it feel to make history? Wait. Hold on, I need to listen a minute to the music. Do you hear this? The, it's not the full song. Is it not? That's where it starts. And then it fades out there. But usually there's not... It doesn't loop in that way. Like No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You're like right. It. It's, a, it's a really short loop. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm going to grab my tea. Okay. I still don't have the chat because I'm a fool. trying. I'm sorry if you're in the chat and saying hi to me. I can't see it. This happens every time. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it. Okay. I'm in. I can see the chat, but not any previous messages, so say hello again. Hello. Okay. Hello, hello. I'm back. Hello. And I have tea. Great. Are you talking Kelly to me or the chat? Hello, I'm talking to everyone. I'm excited. I've been so tired all day, but I'm suddenly excited because we're fucking playing a new Nancy Drew game. Whoa there. I can swear on stream. Oh my god. 1930s Nancy would approve. She would. Bug is here. Emily is here. Ruby is here. Charlie is here. I already said Kelly was here. So many pals. Hey everyone. Says, Baby crew Nat is full is force. Here. Yeah. So we are playing Nancy Drew Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Dun 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 Charlie Nancy does say fuck. Nancy probably fucks too. Mr. Nickerson, you know? Mr. Nickerson. <laughs> Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. To start playing, choose either mm, junior, junior detective, detective, please. If yep. you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Uh, Ruby says, I can't believe I missed just two weeks and you're starting a whole new game. I know. The last game only took us seven episodes, so, like, it was relatively short. And when those old games end, boy, howdy, do they end. Did oh no. Greetings. Oh I my saw. god. We're not the chat. In Shh. Listen. I miss you by the way. Listen. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Wagadougou before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while well, I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Oh, Maybe you've seen her name Nancy in the news already recently. has a crush on Joanna Riggs, by the way. a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, Maya, it's created oh, quite a buzz among experts in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, 
and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. I'm Joanna Riggs. Welcome to Beach Hill. I was Whoa. just checking the lock on this display <laughs> case. This is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Who is King Pakal? Pakal assumed the throne at age... Oh two. my god, look Can at this third person! We're seeing Nancy! 15 AD. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? Leave it to Taylor oh Sinclair. My God. He's a oh. wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. Now then, Is it Nancy, super distinct from the video? The critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber just, just is not bit. kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right, because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. Hell yeah. Okay. So, let's... There's a lot to dig into here. Let's yeah, let's call, let's pause and collect ourselves for a moment. Check in with the chat who have been committing crimes at Charlie. I no, I'm not even going to say it. Um can um, I just say the thing I'm most looking forward to in this Nancy Drew game? Yeah. The thing that I most look forward to at every museum, which is that I want to touch everything. Yeah. Let Apparently, me touch it all. Like lots of stuff that we get to look at. Good. Um. So I I have on, a few thoughts. Go ahead. Yes. Though. I was just gonna ask how distinct the <laughs> very close up video was from the audio in that scene for you because it was very out of sync for me. Just a little bit. For okay. Me. Um, okay. So. I saw and it shared in the Discord a screenshot of this character, Joanna, you know, mm -hmm. before we started playing the game. And, like, she's kind of a babe. Yeah, I mean, hard agree so far. And so, like, I already am like, yeah, Nancy is into her. But now that I have seen her talk, the way her talking was uh -huh. fine, but the way she turns her head to look at things is very not fine or the like welcome to beach hill silence for seconds and then the kind of like meaty shrug that was yeah a lot but just like uh the way she turned toward that case each time felt <laughs> so like weirdly predatory like like, the head of a, you know, like, raptor, like, swinging around to look at something that she's Yeah, because the devour. bird eyes are on the side of the head, not the front. God. Um, on a more serious note, Tim says, oh, worried about how gung-ho the cultural yes. theft in this is gonna be, and yes, we have not played this game, we do not know, it might be rough, y'all. Yeah, I, I really- you, I mean, I think, you know, museums in, like, w sort of U.S. and mostly white-run museums that are centered on, like, cultures other than that um, are sort of innately... Uh, Colonial. Uh, right. Um, and so I have no idea if it's going to be... I mean, so I think it's already bad in that sense. I have no idea if it's going to be, like even worse than that in terms of the way the game treats it i really don't know i'm not like you know we don't share the views of this game obviously or yeah and also we, like we'll obviously we'll adjust as we go if there's anything that's really awful yeah. we will do our best to mitigate it and talk about it and if worst case scenario like there are many other nancy drew games so yeah. we, we are aware of that going in um yeah, and I think generally our thing with these games has been, like, um, 
you know, we sort of acknowledge that they're not perfect and enjoy the other parts of them, but we will see how this one is. There are certain games that we just haven't played or are not planning on playing because we've already heard things about them and right. I have no idea how this game will will handle things. Um, yeah, we just we just want people we just wanted people to be aware of that going in so no one feels like they are um, taken by surprise. Yes, and we are not just like, yeah, this is totally chill and great. Tim says, hey, fun Very fact, problems. that's the correct type of microscope behind her. Ooh, good. The, it's, you can tell, I'm a, it's got two eye posts. So that, that's great. Two eye posts. For more science. T twice the eye post, twice the science. That's what yeah, they say you in the can biz. See, it's here's here's my take. Tim, you're gonna be so mad at me. Um <laughs> is that I'm guessing that they use the one eye post in like chemistry and biology things because they're looking at tinier things and so you need fewer eyes to look at a smaller thing and because one exactly <laughs> one less eye on the scale it's interesting because science actually uses the metric scale for eye instead of the imperialist scale for eye so it's one less eye yep and here where like i can see the artifact or rock or whatever is in there like it is not you know microscopically small and so you need two eyes to see it because it's uh, big. <laughs> oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a this was this is gonna be a rough one for Tim, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, I just Joanna is very pleasingly rendered when she is still, at least. That's. <laughs> Uh, I do like that she came out swinging with like you got this job through nepotism but like <laughs> my expectations of you will not change yeah I I'm not choosing the second option because it's just too like yeah oh, oh, I before you choose a it. capitalist yes. um yeah, I agree with your choice. I, while we're on the subject of eye posts and scientific, science adjacent misconceptions, I do want to beef really quickly with like every cartoon that I have ever seen for making me fundally, fundamentally misunderstand what using binoculars is like. Wait, like every sorry. time that you see binoculars rendered, rendered, it's you're looking out through two eye holes, but when they're like properly focused for your eyes, it's a single oh, right. round field yes. of vision because and not two eye holes. Over right, yes. Which I learned as an adult, like mm, two years ago when I used binoculars for the first time. Wait, you used binoculars for the first time two years ago? I mean, binoculars that weren't like binoculars for children. That's wild. <laughs> What were you doing with binoculars in the rest of your adult life? I, looking at birds, I don't, we always had like a good pair of binoculars around and we used them to look at birds and things. Mm. That's what I was using them for, is to look at birds. Yeah, well, I was doing that when I was a child. <laughs> okay. For a while in Iowa, my parents kept a list of like birds they had seen and... And there was, like, the list of, like, local birds and then migrating birds and which ones were rare. I don't know. They're weirdos. And I just... like that instead of phrasing it of, like, my family was into some light bird, like, bird watching, it was, well, I used them as a child. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Gold star, Joey. I'm sorry. I'm God. sorry. I'm yes, like Char this. Charlie says binocular elitism. And I agree. It's not my fault. I was horribly miseducated by Looney Tunes. Look, I have a set of binoculars on the little shelf by my window right now. <laughs> oh my god. They were my grandfather's. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Please, tell me more about the exhibit. 
In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith, too, Beach Hill Sora numero uno. Hmm. Great. This monolith, it's an important discovery? Yes, a hot young team of archaeologists, Americans and Mexicans both, dug it out of a cave near Palenque. Every curator from here to Siberia was trying to get a hold of it, but I'm the one who closed the deal. Ruby, is a monocular just like a shitty telescope? Yeah, related question. Ruby, are, is your family, are your family pirates? Ah, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Why do you mention the next Come out swinging. the archaeologists? Because yeah. in archaeology, everyone wants to be king of the sandbox. I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. I am very confused by her accent, which is not, like, very obvious, but... It's, I don't know, it's weird to me. And then every now and then she says something that makes her sound like a 60-year-old. <laughs> and she's not. I mean, we don't know that. <laughs> she just has aged really well. Who's Alejandro Del Rio? Ugh, wouldn't you rather hear about the monolith? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. Mm, I know what glyphs How are. I you know it's 1,500 years old? <laughs> According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pahal himself. But I'm we just don't gonna know leave. what its purpose was. <laughs> Who's Henrik? Oh boy. Henrik Vanderhoon, world renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. Good one. Wow, she's very anti Dutch. Joey? I love you. We cannot do this. <laughs> we cannot. I don't know why you hate my family heritage so much. Do you I... think the glyphs hold an important message? I really I'm just going to mute myself for a while. At their peak during Pakal's reign. After he died, things began to go downhill. The civilization never regained the oomph it had under its most extraordinary king. Hmm. Do you think the glyphs were intended to be a message to future generations of Maya? If the message on that monolith is from King Pakal himself, it might give us a clue. Credit for a discovery like that can only spell one thing, my dear. R-E-V-E-N-U-E. -E. Anyway, there's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. <laughs> Shouldn't I have more training? Don't worry, you'll be in the swing of things soon enough. Go ahead and take a look around the museum. I'm sure you'll find the monolith, Mui and Terrasante. Or just oh my roll God. your sleeves and hit the lab. Bad. Thanks for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. Bye. The chat is rowdy tonight. They are. <laughs> How are the tasks ah. coming along? I haven't seen the list yet. Well, get cracking. The last deputy curator was like a tempest in a teapot around here. Caused me nothing but grief. Who was this so-called tempest? I'll tell you about Sonny some other time.
I've got work to do. Carpe diem. This is great. I love that our like introductory hated every other NPC mentioned by name. Mm-hmm. Art in the Americas, Hidden Guatemala, an interview with Prudence Rutherford. <laughs> okay, this is we're not ready for this much reading. Oh, I don't like it when Topeka Commission for the Arts. Oh, how cultured. Weird. Mm. Should we just read it since we're already in it? Uh, I guess I just okay. An interview with Prudence Rutherford. Do you want to be Wu By or Rutherford? Daphne Wu. I'm gonna be Wu, but you need to bring it with Rutherford's personality. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> How did a New York society woman like yourself end up in Topeka, Kansas? Well, my husband Herbert Laszlo was a hydro engineer. When he got appointed to head up the Kansas River <laughs> Flood Control Project, naturally we came to Topeka. When Herbert drowned, everyone thought I would make a beeline back to New York. But after 36 years in Topeka, I just didn't have the heart to leave. The truth is, this is my home now. Excellent. Um, my friend Aaron is here. Hello, Aaron. Welcome. I'm so sorry. What an intro. What an intro. <laughs> Just as an aside, I find it interesting that you never took his name. That was almost unheard of at the oh, time of your oh marriage, no. wasn't it? Yes, well, mind your, bo mind your business. <laughs> um, I was never one to worry about conventions. And where I come from, once a Rutherford, always a Rutherford. <laughs> well, you certainly have been a trailblazer. Now, back to Topeka. What about your love for the arts? What in the world do you do for culture and entertainment here? Oh, my stars, don't underestimate Topeka, dear. The arts are alive and well here. Keep going. <laughs> oh, we have the theater, the <laughs> symphony, and over 20 art galleries. I organize the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the Corn Growers Ball, and I sit on the board of the Topeka Commission for the Arts, too. This is the capital of Kansas, after all. I feel like you need to, the background that you need to know for this role is that I personally hate Kansas. Oh, good. Ms. Rutherford, art appraiser, is thrilled to be featuring your fire ruby necklace in this month's issue. Please tell us about this extraordinary piece of jewelry. Well, the necklace originally belonged to Herbert's mother, Hester, rest her soul. We never got along. Oh, but those rubies really did blaze, like a burning ring of fire around her neck. You had the necklace altered when you inherited it, is that right? Yes, well, Hester's spirit was just a bit too overpowering in the necklace. I felt like I was going to be strangled whenever I wore it. So I decided to add a piece from my own family to balance out the energies and, you know, make it my own. Whoa. You must be referring to that extraordinary jade piece. Tell us about it. I regret choosing Rutherford. My great-grandfather, <laughs> Ruffleton Rutherford, was one of the premier archaeologists of his day. This jade carving came from one of his most groundbreaking digs, whoops, no pun intended, at a Maya ruin in the Amazon jungle. I believe the year was 1898. So this is a real Maya artifact? Yes! Carved by real Maya hands. Yikes. Oh, and, and isn't it just amazing to think how many more- I'm, It's morphing! <laughs> How many more hands this piece has passed through on its way to 21st century Topeka? Oh my stars, it gives me goosebumps! Any idea what the carving symbolizes? Well, this picture is a glyph. In Mayan culture, it stands for the number of things, and that stands for a number of things. Snake, green, south, I'm not sure what else. Fascinating. Isn't it, though? The necklace is one of my most prized possessions. That's why I keep it at the villa. 
I just can't bear to have it locked up in some cold bank vault where I can never see it or wear it. The insurance company advises me against it, but I tell them jewelry and enjoy, darlings. Don't you agree? Certainly, Miss Rutherford. And now, with this article, many more people will be able to enjoy your extraordinary necklace. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. The pleasure was no one's, and I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> Great. Do you like Tim, this? Fucking uh, Tim says, I don't know about Miss Frizzle does community theater accent. I don't know what you want, Tim. <laughs> good, good, good. Great. Um. Okay. So, yeah, t I think this is supposed to be Yeti. Yeti Outfitters. Right? Yeah. But then I don't know why the name yeah, is yeah, Yeti, Yeti and not just Yeti. Uh, but anyways. So that's that. That's the same thing. Okay. I think do you like, do you like, like the National it. Geographic knockoff that has yeah. been very carefully obscured? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow, so many things. Which we can apparently look at and not really interact with beyond that. Okay, we should go find this list before Joanna yells at us again. Whoa. Where, where are we supposed to be going? I don't remember where she said the list is. Me neither. Here's a traveler's guide to Beach Hill Museum, though. I don't even know where we are in here. Are we in the rotunda? Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, we're absolutely, we're absolutely we're absolutely in the rotunda, and one so of these dark of patches is Joanna's of office. Those rooms, maybe we yeah. need to go into the other one. I have not been paying attention to the credits. Is it been the same um, composer or company providing music for each of the games? I. I'm unsure. Oh, whoa. We can ride the subway. Wow. I don't think we can yet. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> apparently we can't. Whoops. You know that you know that feeling on your first day at your internship when someone tries to get you to boot do a list of things and instead you just go home? <laughs> Man, I love a good Nancy Drew hotel room. Okay, we have a phone. We have a computer. <gasps> <gasps> Look! This is our puppy Togo, I guess. Um, what What's is the fire? Flame! <laughs> is that like, instead of a trash can, you just burn shit that you don't <laughs> want anymore? Oh, notes. Okay, Dad's friend. So we don't have a notebook, but we do have this, and I bet it will mm -hmm. update, which is helpful. Dad's friend, Franklin Rose. Oh, that's his for phone we number. Can call. Ask me to volunteer as, as an assistant curator at the Beach Hill Museum. The museum is preparing an exhibit on the ancient civilization of the Maya that includes a monolith recently excavated in Mexico. Blah, 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 blah. Be sure to check in with Bess and George. Okay, although we don't have Bess and George's phone numbers at this point. Okay, we can do the sleeping thing with the alarm clock. Oh, is that a hat that Nancy wears? It, it sure is a, a big floppy brimmed hat. Great. Oh, 
Nancy's luggage. It always looks the same. I love that. And we never get to rifle through it. We can't. Oh my god. There's a mirror right here and we cannot look in it. Do you, wow. but do you remember in that first cutscene, inexplicably, there was that pulled back yeah. shot where we saw that Nancy Drew as a whole human being? Apparently, I can't. There's really not a lot that we can do here. Okay. That's fine. I suspect it's mainly going to be a moving time mechanism. Yes. And uh, check back in with your notes and use the phone, probably. Although. I don't know how to call Bess and George, which is weird. Okay, well, I guess we have to go back to the museum. I do really like that we just immediately dipped. Mm-hmm. Ruby says, does she have a cat called For Here? Because her dog's name is To Go. Mm-hmm. Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key great that feels oh. like maybe a thing that shouldn't go to assistant curators Ooh. oh my god there's so much but where's this fucking to-do list um i bet it's in the other office yeah but i up the way we came i tried or was that the metro that door takes us to the metro which is bizarre no, but it's it should be the one, yeah. That's the if that's not we came out of that is Jimmy okay. Then Riggs. it should be the one opposite that. Oh, which is. No, that. Yeah. No, there okay. isn't a there isn't a door opposite that. Oh, because there's one entrance to the there's exhibition desk. hall. There's the exit. There's Joanna Riggs, and then there's the desk. Okay, so it's gotta be in here somewhere. Yeah. I just don't know. Hey, if, does anyone in the chat remember where our to-do list is? Where? Can we go back behind that desk? Are we sure it wasn't in there somewhere? Oh, I... probably. Ooh. Ooh. Temple key card. Ooh. Don't mind if we do. A Mayan glyph. Although it looks like they all oh probably because they are they're all the are same all identical yes yeah okay it said that was the glyph for road right or travel I feel like it says road I guess I can't take any of those things nope okay uh, I can't God. get out there we go. <laughs> Nope. Uh. The knob is missing. Oh. Well, if we find a, a knob somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled for a knob, y'all. Do you think that to. Oh! Wait, there is a thing here. <clears throat> Addenda to the Palenque Monolith loan contract between the Republic of Mexico and Beach Hill Museum, Washington, D.C., USA. Paragraph se 7, Section 8A. Beach Hill shall make two payments of $250,000, the first being paid upon execution of this contract, the second being paid 30 days after the delivery of property, but used to say upon delivery. Paragraph 7, Section 10A. The duration of the loan shall be 90 days from the opening of the exhibit and no more than 200 days total. Section 1C. During the period of the loan, Beach Hill shall have the exclusive rights to reproduce images of the property for the following derivative works. Postcards, posters, t-shirts, coffee mugs, keychains, and mouse pads. Someone is pumped about those mouse pads. Yep. Uh, Beach Hill shall assume full liability in the amount of $1 million for the property for the duration of the agreement. Joanna Riggs has signed it. Alejandro Del Rio has Who not. is the cultural attaché? Good to know. Um, okay. I think we should go... 
Ooh, uh, Ruby says, this reminds me of that one summer when I had a house sitting gig for a couple of weeks. Definitely rifled through some drawers just out of curiosity. Ooh, yeah. Oh, big move. We were just I house we, sat for someone last year sometime, and there were so many clocks in that house. Like, like in nine. a spooky way or in like, a neat way? Like nine clocks. And then I looked in the bathroom cabinet. And there was a plastic bin with, like, 40 watches in it. You stayed- you house sat for a Time Warlock. Yes. Or Austin Walker. <laughs> <laughs> God. <coughs> we um, used to- I used to, when I was younger, be in a band that toured quite a bit. And we would stay in people's houses, like, all over the country. And it was wildly fascinating to me to see the inside of- all these different houses and how like people had their stuff arranged and how they moved around in their own space. I love it. Yep. Um, so we have some names here, contributor names, including Rusty Dents and Salamander Jones and IU and D Bayou. IU and D Bayou. Yeah. Dagmar is for the arts. That's the organization Prudence Rutherford works for. But also oh yeah, N D fan one two three. Yeah. N D is in Nancy Fru Drew. Fru Fru Labu. And... St hold on, go back go back. Stymie McGuff. Stymie McGruff. Great. Um Rolf Stroganoff. P Peter Piper. Vladimir, Vladimir Eeps. Eeps. That's great. I thought that uh, Punchy LaRue was also on this list, but I don't see it. Well, do you want to tell people about the fucking Punchy, Punchy LaRue, LaRue rabbit LaRue hole that dive. you fell down? Okay, so in Nancy Drew, the final scene, which is the last game we played, <clears throat> in the voice credits, the voice actor listed for Beth is Punchy LaRue. Bess has had various voice actors over the years. Punchy LaRue only voiced that game. However, when I caught a glimpse of that, I was like, wait, that name sounds familiar. And then I looked on the Nancy Drew, her interactive wiki page, and Punchy LaRue is listed as one of Nancy Dra Drew's aliases. Because in the game Phantom of Venice, Nancy can make money by dancing in a cat suit at this, like, club club M Misio, um and her stage name in that situation is punchy larue but that game didn't come out until seven years after the final scene and i don't i don't is punchy larue a real person who really voiced bess in the final scene I don't want to drag you, but you're leaving out some steps of your investigation. Okay, one of the steps of my investigation is that I found someone named Punchy LaRue on Instagram, and I DM'd her to ask if she had been Bess's voice actor, and she said no, but that, you know, it was a Nancy Drew reference, and I was like, yeah, that's was what I figured, but I just had to double check. In the IMDB <laughs> page? Yeah, also, like, there is an IMDb page for Punchy LaRue, but it just says, like, known for voice acting in the final scene, and it has no other information, and there's not a picture, and I don't know. There's also a Tumblr called Punchy LaRue Plays Nancy Drew, but again, that's probably just, like, a Nancy Drew fan who has taken the moniker themselves for fun. I, I don't- Who punchy. is Punchy LaRue? Tell me! <sighs> <laughs> this is, oh my god, this is your, like, true detective origin story. This is where you fall down the dark rabbit hole. Punchy LaRue very much has the cadence to me of, like, a fake Nancy Drew name, and I bet it's just a running gag within the production crew. Okay, but then who voiced Bess? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Lina Minnelli, because she does some of the, like, other random voices. She did, I, I also Minnelli. discovered that Lonnie voiced Bess and George in the very first Nancy Drew game. She was just all See? three of them. Um, There's a here precedent. Are some more good names, including Persimmon Woods, Marquis Del Falcone, 
and Hugh Honey. Do you think any relation to the St. Louis to the St. Louis Falcons, oh, the FTP absolutely. Falcons? And Astrid Starflex? Look, Astrid Starflex. That's I incredible. see that. But um, also you wait. are you are glazing over star I'm writing that down because the next time I need a game a name in a sci-fi RPG it's going to be Astrid Starflex Tim points out that Punchy LaRue is rhyming slang for Baby Crew I mean it's rhyming slang for Nancy Drew is the thing which Baby Crew also is oh my god we're part of the conspiracy Bubba f mm. yeah that's not great um, not great punchy larue see it's here like they already were like yeah this is this is a thing that we're using but what i i just oh i need to like call lonnie manella manelli and or lonnie manella yes manella uh yes wait and is it manella or manelli i think it's no it's manella it's lonnie l-a-n-i manella manella yeah. Okay. Do you think the list is on her desk? We could talk to her again. <laughs> Let's make a we're making a great impression on our first day. Along. I haven't seen the list yet. Well, get cracking. I've got uh, oh. carpe diem. Wait, where is it though? Hmm. I I mean we can keep poking around the exhibit yeah, and we'll find I guess it eventually. That's what we have to do. It's just weird and frustrating. I've gotta say, this in particular does seem like spot on design for like regional museums. Yeah, this space doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Like the well, I I feel like I have to be missing a door because I th it might just be empty space or you access it from the exhibition hall and it's like storage space or the bathrooms or oh, something. Yeah, maybe because the door, the big double doors to the metro are really just the front door, right? They just are the doors outside. Right. Mm -hmm. And then one of these is the office and those are the two little like alcovey things. And then yeah, I with guess the little the, fountains, the desk is opposite the right. office but those spaces uh -huh. don't yeah well this yeah this this at least one of the spaces is in the office and i wouldn't be surprised it's either like it's a dead space that they didn't do anything with or we access it from the exhibition hall yeah okay well i guess we're going into the hall Employees only. That's us. Oh, here's another glyph. Are we gonna need to know these? <laughs> Maybe. Are we gonna have to translate things? That would be neat. Shipping, receiving. I feel like we're gonna be trapped in this warehouse at some point. Oh, whoa. Okay, there's a packing list. Scale, some paper. Oh, that's probably going to be a chore we have. Positively, no smoking. Yep, okay. We'll come back to here when we need to. Laboratory, that's where we're going. First, we're going to look at this bulletin board, though. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Can we, can you just stand by it and see if anything is legible i think this is as close as i can get okay and nothing is legible no okay that's fine okay <clears throat> laboratory 
here we go. Are we going to see the woman? Oh, she's not there yet. Later, she'll be sitting there. Wow. Look at all this lab equipment. Bug That's says. So exciting. Oh, my God. The what? You cut out. Um, Bug says, oh, my God, this is Heaven's Vault. Yep. Just a little bit. Um, Bug, Bug says, pull the fire alarm. Y'all are rowdy tonight. <laughs> you are. Did you find the list? No, I'm just reading the chat. I'm sorry. Ooh, who's the Nancy oh, Tim Drew says, cat? Tim says, That's actually, I think the Mayan language is one of the cooler examples of archaeologists doing good work. If I remember correctly, archaeologists were able to teach Mayan people how to read their own language, which they had lost. Wow. Oh, um, the Nancy Drew cat. It, we have not updated the game title specifically, but we will do I... that before the next stream attempted to update it but i was at internship and my internet when i'm on sites that the school wi-fi doesn't like um doesn't always work so i attempted and also hello who are you i great fucking username yep okay uh ooh, a drawer i love to open yeah let's rifle drawers. Ooh, is that the knob the missing knob yeah and a whole box of chocolate bars. Property of Sunny June. Sun. Grr. Oh, great. No Coco Kringle for you, buddy. Notes, 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 notes. I hate that bull game. It's all random. Or is it? Choosing when I Oh, pass, that's the game. When the computer passes, four pieces of corn, different than dice. Try Pascal's Triangle. Yeah, that's the game we, we played, played that in, in um, Blackmore Manor. To yeah. Yes. One and three frequency of four, two. There's Pascal's Triangle, which I guess we'll need at some point. Man, I didn't start a Aliens did notes, it. And that was... That's okay. Oh, Next time. We're still in the, like, smart. frantic running around, look at everything stage. Of me. I know. <clears throat> um I'm liking the like white on black notebook paper. Yeah. It's good. Good look. The Beach Hill Gang. Um Stop losing my things. Stop breaking my stuff. Quit daydreaming. Get to work, Sonny. Oh, that's Joanna. Joanna, <laughs> yep. What she got up her sleeve? Hurricane Sunny, yeah. Saw Sinclair the other day. Warning, never look directly at Sinclair's tie. <laughs> Ooh, that audio narration thingy is going to be so much work. Heh <laughs> heh. Luckily, old Hurricane Sunny managed to, ahem, borrow Joanna's notes for this project. Note to self, must distract jo Joanna only after her coffee break. Okay, let's see. Garden. Ooh, and temple, there's letters everything. And there are letters. I'm going to take a picture of that. Oh, yes. Sorry. Let me go back. That's okay. Oh, because the, there's probably an audio. Once we yeah. can get that thing open with the knob, then we can listen to the audio guide for all of those different things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Must surf web. Oh, sure big mood, Sunny. I have had a computer. I just have to check out the latest alien adventure games www.justadventure.com Okay, we gotta visit that in our hotel yep. room. If only someone would make a game about the Maya and toss in some aliens and UFOs, of course. Temple in the Sky. This museum gig is such a boring job. Uh-oh, Joanna found out about the stinky cheese incident. Big trouble now. I wonder who ratted out on me. Must have been that Cocoa Bandit. Whoops, I hear Storm and Joanna coming over. Better hide this. Must surf web. Tim, you will see more lab equipment soon. 
Oh no. Free us from this prison. Free us. Ooh. It's so many crinkle bars. It is. This is crunchy. This is, this is the chocolate that we use to poison Lulu. Uh huh. It sure See, it is. It says it says Wickford on it. Mm hmm. Yummy, crunchy, cocolati. Lavash. It's very cow. Yep. Love it. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Check voicemail often. Yikes. Fenders. Super archiver. Curatorial, curatorial bananas. Microscope doctor. It gets serviced every six months. Assistant curator tasks. Great. Okay. Sort out. Oh. So Sunny was our predecessor yeah okay sort out shards of pottery and reassemble pot at lab workstation great priority bring addenda to monolith loan agreement to alejandra del ria at the mexican consulate for signature oh that's that, that feels like of kind of a big one it does Order bubble wrap, packing tape, sticky labels. We just saw the phone number for that. Match recorded narrations to appropriate displays in the main exhibition hall. You'll need headphones for this. Record my yes, numbering Christmas. exhibit in the main exhibition hall. <clears throat> you okay? Then, yeah, I just, my voice is suddenly... <clears throat> You're getting choked up about having a checklist again, I know. I just, I just love <laughs> checklists so much. Tim says the microscope doctor fixes the eye posts. Yep, tracks for me. Um, okay. I think we should look at these shards of pottery. Yeah, let's let's finish poking around the lab before we start that activity and see what else is That's in here. Fair. Ooh, there's a periodic table. Oh boy. Which means we're probably, well, I we can't look at it very closely, which means maybe we won't need to use this information, but maybe we will. I bet Tim will be happy if we do. What? Excuse me, what is this? You know. Uh... They got, they got one of those in every lab. <laughs> Tim says, Bug, I told a bug to go away and then apologize to you out loud because I meant the buzzy bug. And Bug says, aw, that was me. Tim says, this is a very out of date periodic table. I believe you. It looks wrong to me. I don't remember what the periodic table is supposed to look like currently, but that doesn't look quite right. Uh, but Tim, what, what is this? What is it? Ruby says laser beam machine. Aaron says the dangle bobber machine. Great. Love both of those options. Ooh, are these They're rocks both right. and minerals? Let oh, me see the rocks. I can't, I can't look at it. But, but I want to see totally the rocks. Is. Oh, uh, two eye posts as well? Yep. Proper. I'm looking at big things that require two eyes. Yeah, twice the eye power. <laughs> yep. That's, again, metric eye. Ooh. Do not operate without permission. Oh, shit! This is also Krollmeister! Oh. Which is the brand that the Easy Bake that Oven That made the get. Easy Bake Oven? <clears throat> Yes. I have, I have questions. Krollmeister. Yo, that oven was dope. Analyzer receptacle. Temperature. That's it. Pressure. Something. That it's might the take spectro. Humidity. I'm not sure. Spectro it's the spectro X. X. Something. Something. I can't read it. 
Uh, Tim says it's for blowing dust off stuff, I'd guess. The other, the other thing. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Oh, Nancy, you're no fun. She's the about her. Wait, what's that laser sign above it? I don't know. I can't oh, see it. Oh, beans. It says danger laser radiation, I think. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love me some laser radiation. I'm disappointed we can't look at more of this stuff more. Look, closely. everything has two eye posts. <clears throat> Man. Everything. This they is only this look feels at like a lot of microscopes. Here. See, this is why tiny creatures can see tiny things because they have smaller so eyes. So many. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's because they have so many eyes. No, because more. it's like more eyes, more, more power. More eyes for bigger things. That's why chemistry, like my, like but like microscopes for looking at like a cell or whatever, only use one eye because you're looking at a tiny thing. Mm, <laughs> Ooh, is this a, just a radio? A Morse, I, co Morse code? code keyboard. I definitely almost said Morse cord. <laughs> I mean, it's partly a radio, but also we can send Morse code with it, which I is... I shouldn't be messing around with this. Type out your worst days while we cry. Nancy. Stop. Buy milk. A... Stop. You know, lab milk. She can't. She can't. She's a cop at heart. A cab assigned cop at birth. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a instruction manual for something that would be a lot easier to read it's if bad it were design. In a normal font. I think that says Dynacam. Dynacam. But I I don't know. <laughs> Ruby says insects oh, with maximum Dyn eyes. Dynaham. Her. Insects with maximum eyes can see God. That see is God true. can see God. Oh, it's a ham radio. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, this, <laughs> this space age digital keypad. Yeah. Wow. And remember, if it isn't a Kremer com, it's asymptotic. Yep. Okay, so four digit number for a frequency or channel, press the connect button, and then you can transmit using Morse code, which is. Oh, in the hell yeah, I'm excited. And then when you finished. Oh, when you finished composing a letter, press send. So you send each letter. I used to be in a band with an old guy who, like, one of his big hobbies was, though, and he said that, like, the, the older folks who had been doing ham radio for a long time could tell each other apart by, like, the particular, like, slight rhythms and cadences of their Ooh, Morse code. I love knowing that. I know, like, right? it makes perfect sense, but, oh. That's great. I love like seeing people's music notation handwriting because it's like just as distinctive as like actual handwriting. Mm. Uh, the double spaces in this drive me crazy. Avoid placing fingers or foreign objects into the main radio tube holding socket. Electrical shock can result. Okay, Good advice. There's, there's the Morse code. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center, Sheila Schultz, director. Game Henway, Natahe, New Mexico. So that's a thing. Can you just take a picture of this? Yeah. Was in Shadow was Shadow Ranch in uh, New Mexico or in Arizona? I think it was in Arizona. Oh, whoops. 
Okay, I think it locked. Ooh. It locked. Okay. Super so locked. Had to double check. Laboratory safety precautions. They won't even let us read that up close. We don't need them. We're just an intern. Wow. What can go wrong? What can go wrong? Okay, well... It looks like some pieces are missing. And this Let's... should probably be the last thing we do tonight. I know. Wait, what... I don't know. Wait, what exactly does our to-do list say? It says reassemble the pot shards. Yeah. Sort out shards of pottery and re reassemble pot. But why does So maybe we're going to find maybe in our pieces travels pieces. we'll find more pieces. Mm. You know? Yeah. That's frustrating though. I want to put it together. <gasps> Okay, well, can I order the things we're supposed to order while I'm in here by the phone, then? Yeah. Okay. We have to get bubble wrap, packing tape, sticky labels. Our account number is BH119K, and I have to call... Two oh two nine nine six three five nine nine six three. Okay. You have no voice, mate. Two oh two five five nine nine. Oh. Mm. It didn't like my area code, never mind. You have no five, 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 nine, nine, six, three. Silvio's curatorial bonanza is open from oh. nine to five Monday through Beautiful. Friday. Please call back during regular business hours. Let's call back uh, while we're here. It's 9.45, apparently, in the evening. What did you say? We could oh, call, Franklin call Franklin Rose, Rose while we're here. Over here. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? I'd like to speak to Franklin Rose, please. I'm sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of the office. Would you like to try that? Oh, it's later? probably too late. Sure, thank you. Have a great day. Okay, well, should we go put the knob on the thing and then call it a night? Sounds good. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing that that door will lead out to the garden, which I'm very excited mm -hmm. to explore, but we will yes. do it next time. Oh, hey, will you look to the left before we, before you go back? To the left? Like, back up. Hold on. You have to go a little farther back. Because we're looking for, no, okay, not that way. Now look to the right. Okay. Yeah, I, I was seeing if there was a door for that area that wasn't the office, but... Yep. I don't think it gives us... I think it's just a space that doesn't exist, truly. Yeah. Like the desk. Yeah. It's, it's just... the graveyard realm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go here. And we put... Knob on and 
That was a very multi-step opening process. Then we take There's headphones. only one, there's one very specific pair of headphones we can use. Mm -hmm. Nancy tries to lift each pair and that's, you know, it's like choosing a wand, actually. And the headphones choose you. Yeah, exactly. Um... Whoa, box jellyfish has 24 eyes? That's wild. I bet they can see God. Yeah. Box jellyfish are fucking terrifying. I mean, we're both scared of jellyfish already, but those are especially scary jellyfish. Also, Agree. um, Emily, people were talking about Oh, no, this was Bug's joke initially. Um, they were talking about elements, and there was one that was like it, it, ununium, like U-N-U-U, -U -U, and then Bug said uunium. Great. Yep. Um, Bug also said Buck's jellyfish has 24 eyes, twice as many as me. <laughs> Uh, oh, there was a sign that said no fighting, I guess, in the lab, and Bug says fighting is integral to lab culture. <laughs> That's how you find out whose science is right, says Emma. Nat says, in the science <laughs> battles. God. Okay, great. Good work, everyone. Um, are we having a, a hangout? Um, how do y'all feel about us? Feel about it. Let us know in the chat. We did not. Um, I'd be down for a little short one. I'm very sleepy tonight. I did the silly thing where I had a glass of wine while I was cooking and then a glass of wine while I ate dinner. And now I am old and tired. Yeah, I would be up for a relatively short hangout, I think. Um, Charlie says that they are down. Bug says, I am so tired. Honestly, I might hang out, but not talk much. Fair. That is not. Well, we'll probably be there for a little bit. And if people want to show up, they can. And, oh, Emma says they would hang out for a bit. Um, cool. I'm Great. just taking us back to our hotel to go to sleep because I but think you're... <laughs> Put in Nancy the, to bed, more like put me to bed. I'm sleepy. <laughs> right. In the morning, we can go to the Mexican consulate to drop off that paperwork before heading back to the museum. Sounds good. Oh, Tim has a migraine. Oh, Fuck, I'm sorry. Tim. Rough. Bye, Aaron. I love you back. Thanks for coming. Um, okay, we're gonna set this for 8 a.m. Ooh, also, countdown. Next week will be the last Nancy Drew in this format for a while, because after that, Joey will be here in Nebraska with me, Yay! and we will be recording in the same room. I'm so excited. I know. We're going to see I, each other in 10 days, you guys. 10 days! I've only agreed to this so I can drive Nancy. Yeah. I want I want that Nancy power. Mm -hmm. I'll try to not backseat drive. No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're very excited, though. I'll, for every um, episode that you drive, I can talk at length about being Dutch. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Super thrilled with my choices <laughs> in life. Okay, bedtime for Nancy. Ugh. That's... Not a great view to wake up to. Yeah. Okay. Time to save our game. What are we 
she's gonna um oh I'm going to the embassy pay for work to consulate can I bring paper oh bring pass <laughs> that's it no you no you're committed now please put the a and the p back nope stop it put the a and the p back and save it you coward thank you bring pap to consulate okay remember good old pappy's cappy i sure do god simpler times simpler times it feels so long ago it was kind of a long time ago is the thing yeah um oh if i'm still in nebraska on august 10th we can have our Nancy Drew stream anniversary party. Oh, wow. Because that's going to be a year of Nancy Drew. Did we really stream Nancy Drew on my birthday? Our second ever Nancy Drew stream? I don't know because we weren't. I don't Oh, because we were switching was... between like Monday and Wednesday. Yeah, and sometimes both. Yeah. And sometimes neither. Um. Wow, a whole year. Oh my god, a year. A year. That's wild. Yeah. I can't believe okay. we've been like... I can't believe y'all have been showing up to listen to us talk for a year. Thank you. Well, it hasn't been a year yet. It's not August yet. No, that's the way that time works. Oh, as soon as we talk about it, it's happened. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, well, we will uh, be here next week and also see you in the Discord if you're in the Discord um, shortly. Uh, I am Joey. You can find me on Twitter at Joey the Prince. You can find us together on Twitter at Rude Detectives. Um, joining me, my the my the other half of nancy <laughs> fucking spiked um. it babe i'm caitlin <laughs> you can find me on twitter at hello and behold words are very hard um, i know okay good night everyone bye night.